The following program contains adult language and situations and should not be viewed by anyone under the age of 107. Hello, my name is Steve Smith. Tonight's movie pioneered the development of convincing trick shots and stunning special effects by showing how bad it looks when you don't have those things. The film is entitled Giant Gila Monster, and since the lizard has very little dialogue, I'll be replacing the voice of Chase Winston. You work all the angles, don't you, Chase? Mr. Compton, I love you. If you like movies featuring a giant gila monster, this is one of them. Hi, Sheriff. Hi, Jess. Steal a new car? Yeah, new to me. That parker I had, I'd be chasing you boys on a bicycle in a couple of days. Ah, uh, get real, Sheriff. You'd never get that fat butt on a bicycle seat. Not with your hemorrhoids. Oh, I was just kidding. <laughs> How many cars you swiped? Oh, about 35,000. Tommy bought it from the state. Those lucky stiffs on highway get a new car every year. Let me have it for a day. I'll drop a stolen racing cam in her. Oh, <laughs> you choke it off so I could never catch it. You're a very intelligent man, aren't you, Sheriff? I have other stuff you might like. Holly Carb, her shifter. I swiped them myself. We'll make it to you. Just between us, Liz Humphreys and Pat Wheeler didn't get home last night. I know. They were going out on a date. Liz borrowed two dozen condoms. I told her to keep them. Were they in any kind of trouble? Any kind? You know. Oh. That kind of trouble. Chase, level with me. I don't know. Maybe, could be. I think so. Probably not. Do you think they might have run off to get married? Well, it's within the realm of possibility. You know, if they took some kind of weird drug and did something dumb? Did Pat have any money stashed? Yeah, 500 bucks. Like how much? I just told you, 500 friggin' dollars. Your hat's too tight. Where did he get that kind of money? He stole it. He hangs out behind the Legion and rolls drunk cops. What bank does he use? None. He's afraid his uncle will rob it. He could have been saving it to get married, couldn't he? It's possible. Mental illness runs in his family. But you know, if he eloped, his old man would stick his thumb up his butt. I know. But Pat's smart enough to provide for himself till the old man cooled off. Maybe the condoms were too tight and exploded. Did you check the hospitals? Yeah. Where could I find the rest of the gang? Well, Gordy's stealing an ATM machine, but Chuck and Rick went over to Easton to knock over a liquor store for next Saturday night's Peter party. Next Saturday night? Yeah. You warn the gang I'll be cruising that pass that night. No dragon. Yeah, that'll scare them. You got any postcards from those two? Let me know. Morning, Sheriff. Let me smell your breath. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Hi, Chase. Hi. Did you get that diesel tractor fixed? No, I torched it. Good. My boy, that's one trip I'm glad I don't have to make very often. Have you got a heavy load in your truck, I mean? No, not heavy. Hot. Wheeler's sinking another oil well and he's sprayed a fire when it comes in. There's four quarts of nitroglycerin out there in that cap. 
He wants us to keep it out back in the storehouse. You have to be careful with nitro, but it can be a pant load of fun at a party or when you have a clogged toilet. But to clean up afterwards, no picnic. Well, I'm sorry I was so late getting back. But with that cargo, I was afraid to do over five miles an hour. Well, even an idiot can carry nitro as long as it's in the nitro case. But I took these out of the case. Holy smoke! You stupid, whacked out lunatic! No offense intended. Much action this afternoon? Well, Lisa dropped around for a quickie, but I wasn't really in the mood. Is that night so safe out there? It should be fine as long as the darn phone doesn't ring. Just our luck. That's not our ring. No shite, Sherlock. I listen in on everybody's conversations. All the phones in town. All seven of them. <laughs> you work all the angles, don't you, Chase? Mr. Compton, I love you. You may be getting a little antsy because the movie is called Giant Gila Monster and we still haven't seen the darn thing. Be careful what you wish for. The giant Gila monster will be appearing in this next act. Particularly important when you know that this was his or her only professional acting engagement. that party line a while ago. I was hoping I'd have this baby all stripped down before you got here. I forgot how much you enjoy car accidents. Yeah. There's a pretty good one. Yeah. This engine's still warm. Take a look at the road over here. There's absolutely nothing of interest to see there. Yeah. No digs in the macadam either. Somebody was hurt in here. There's blood all over the upholstery. Let's take a look around. I've already looked around. Looked around a lot. Real good? Well, you look. See anything? Didn't think so. Maybe the squirrels saw what happened. No. They'd have said something. What about the guy who called in? People will go to the trouble to report an accident, but they won't stay around. Don't want to fill out the reports. Yeah. Smart. Well, I'll take the license number and the engine number. Call headquarters. Maybe they've got a line on them. Chase, how are your headlights? Men don't have headlights. Both of them burning? How many times have I warned you about getting that headlamp fixed? Thirty. But nobody pays any attention to what you say. Seal beam only costs four dollars. Well, I've had some unexpected expenses. Oh? Missy? Yeah, she says that after she finishes with the orthodontist, she wants to have her hair done and get breast implants. Those things don't grow on trees. You know, I think this is a complete washout. You probably got a screwdriver. I don't think the insurance company has missed one of those headlamps.
What's the matter? I hope it's not a pregnancy issue. When I was serving dinner to Mr. Willow, he became very angry. He said, if I saw you again, you would have me sent back to France. He can't do that. Oh, yes, he can. He's my sponsor. He put up the bond. That was to guarantee that you wouldn't be working here as a prostitute. Instead, you're doing dishes and laundry. That's a trade-off we're all going to have to learn to live with. He said it's immoral for me to go out with you. What's immoral of that? Nothing so far. I don't want to go away, Chase. Nobody likes France anymore. They think it's your fault that Pat ran away. Well, everyone knows that I broke up with Pat. Just so I could be with you. I like you way better than him. You go back to the laundry, but listen, don't worry. I think I'm heterosexual. Sheriff? Howdy, Sam. Have you heard anything from Pat and Liz? Diddly squat. Chase, I'm in a jam, and I need your help. Wheeler swings a big enough stick in this country to make it rough, and he's doing it. Oh, I can understand his concern about Pat, but I just don't have a big enough force to comb this area inch by inch. I have an extra comb. There was a man killed in a wreck in a small canyon in a big city last year, and it took them 19 days to find him. I don't know what they expect of me. What a boring story. Look, Sheriff, if it'll shut you up, me and the other car thieves can go and search that path of that'll end your whiny, whiny, whiny. I was hoping you'd say that. I can start at the upper end and work towards you. When we come back, Chase and Lisa get to search a ravine. I got chills. In this next scene, Chase and Lisa make an important discovery. Let's hope you people watching don't. Let's call it a day. We've covered half the roads in this county. Yeah. Lisa and I are going to have consensual sex in that ravine over there. So we'd appreciate it if you'd buzz off. All right. Right. Just looking for a dry spot. Look at that. What is it, Chase? A trail of animal droppings with some jewelry in it. You mean a wild animal here? No, not around here. I must be losing it. I'm kidding you. bottom of the wash, two or three miles back by the old reservoir. Any condoms? No, nothing. Oy vey, bad things happen when you have unprotected sex.
Where did you find it? By the reservoir in Williams Wash. There's a clearing. It's a real nice spot in there. That's where Lisa lost her virginity. Did you search the area? Nah, once virginity's gone, you can't get it back. It was really Lisa's fault. She went all the way. Wouldn't you say, Gordy? At least that far. Did you see any footprints? Yes, one. This thing's been around just about the same as that sedan. Like it had been hit with a 10-ton rubber mallet. There's no such rubber mallet. Five ton is the biggest. Yeah. I'll have to go over that area with a rake. You know, I've been thinking, if, if Liz and Pat were having sex, he would have made sure that at least one of them was wearing a condom. Why, well, maybe he stored it, Chase, and then it was stolen. Yeah, if it was stolen, and then somebody used it, that would force Liz and Pat to go get another one. It would be a strange coincidence if they came back to this part of the county. Possibility makes some sense, though. I'll get my gear and dust for fingerprints. Gosh, I wish you boys had called me before you drug it out. I might have found some clues to help us out. You're whining, Sheriff. The hard part's telling Mr. Wheeler. I sure dread that. Does it always have to be about you? He's sure gonna raise Ned, because I didn't find this wreck sooner. Where's Mr. Compton? He's still dead from the big truck explosion. I'll check on him again tomorrow. He'll probably still be dead. I'll see you later. Come on, Cassie Bale. Let's go. Stay tuned for the conclusion of the movie where Chase sings, if the story isn't enough for you. <laughs> and I'm sure it isn't. And now the big finale, where the Gila monster destroys a miniature barn and some toy cars. Don't be frightened. And I wish I could sing, sing and turn. I wish I could sing, sing and turn. I wish I could sing, sing, do. Wish I could sing, sing and turn. And the Lord, he said, I created for you a guy named Chase who sings like Poe.
storage shed. I've got an idea that might work. Now you keep this condom for me so I don't accidentally blow a hole in it. told you to wait inside. Why don't you do what I tell you? We're not even married yet. You're not going to leave me, Chet. I'm going to help. Do you know what's in here? Listerine mouthwash. No, that's wrong. Nitroglycerin. It doesn't matter. I'm still going to help. All right. Now take these, hold them, and don't let them bump. And keep them away from your breasts. One black, one regular, and two decaf. I hope you can hold your drinks. and they all lived happily ever after, except for the giant Gila monster who is now 273 pairs of bowling shoes. Next week's movie is very special, a sci-fi flyby called Plan 9 from Outer Space. I'll be replacing the voice of Eros, an alien Plan fleet Plan commander. Plan 9, I have no idea what it is or how the heck it works, but then let's not forget I'm a moron. If you like seeing middle-aged bad actors in satin pajamas, this movie's for you. That's next time on The Playhouse. I'll see you then. <laughs>